throughout history, the way two market participants that didn't know each other have traded, whether you're talking about money or property or stocks or bonds or any asset you can think of, the way we've always solved that trust issue is through an intermediary. Blockchain allows two people that don't know each other to trade with each other without the use of a centralized intermediary. My name is Stephen McKeon. I'm an associate professor of finance at University of Oregon in the Lundquist College of Business. And my research focuses on crypto assets, blockchain, security issuance, and mergers and acquisitions. At the most fundamental level, blockchain is a ledger of transactions, and ledgers are everywhere. For example, your bank keeps a ledger of how much money is in your account, the county keeps a ledger of who owns all the property. What makes it different than other ledgers is that it's not controlled by a centralized entity. It's actually not much different in some ways than what a bank does. Say I write a check to you, and you deposit the check into your bank. Your bank doesn't know if there's any money in my account or if that was actually my signature on the check, so they have to send it up through a network. So it gets over to my bank, and then my bank does two things. They authenticate the check, so they make sure that it's actually my signature on it, and they authorize the check. Like, do I actually have the money in my account? What the Bitcoin network does is really the same thing. They're authenticating and authorizing payments. Blockchain transactions are, are very secure. The level of security is actually on astronomical terms. It is almost impossible to guess somebody's private key. That type of theft is nearly impossible. However, it can still be hacked, but in terms of the security of the network, that is immutable. And so it can create trust between market participants that doesn't otherwise exist. The idea that we can replicate that type of trading environment, but without the intermediary, is just a very, very powerful idea. And you're going to see many applications beyond just currency or money uh, where this comes into play.